So looking things up is something professionals like you and me want to do in Excel all the time. You probably know about VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, more recently XLOOKUP and DLOOKUP, of course. What you don't know about DLOOKUP, right. Let me explain DLOOKUP to you. Let's get into the download file. You can download this file, of course, work along with me. So the concept of DLOOKUP is here. It's a double lookup. So we're used to with VLOOKUP looking up a value in a single column. For example, if we wanted to look up Chihuahua, we get to this row here. What if we wanted to look up values in two columns here? So we wanted to answer this question, for example, how many passes did Luna make against Chihuahua? So there we've got two pieces of data, Chihuahua here, and then looking up Luna here. So it's a double lookup. And this is the concept of DLOOKUP. This is why we have the DLOOKUP formula in Excel, okay? Spoiler alert, we don't actually have the DLOOKUP formula in Excel. I wish we did have it. I'm gonna show you how to build it right now. We're gonna build it in Desktop Excel using what's called a custom function in Excel VBA. Now, if you want to watch a demonstration of how to do this uh, in the cloud in Excel 365, I'll do that video too. Let me know in the video description below. So we've got to get into the VBA editor and in the download file, this is what you'll find. So if you've never done any VBA before, it will look a bit alien to you. Check out our beginner videos in the video description below. So it says function. It says function at the beginning of this code here. So function is different to sub. Usually we're used, used to seeing sub, subroutine, a macro. This is also a macro, but it works differently. It works differently because we've effectively created a formula behind the scenes. I'm typing in DLOOKUP here. I can see DLOOKUP. So we've created a function that we can use and we determine what the function does. If I go ahead and just populate this formula. The formula is waiting for information. What information does the formula need? Uh, with VLOOKUP, for example, VLOOKUP asks for four parameters. How does this work with DLOOKUP and with our custom function? Well, the parameters, the information that goes into the formula, we define ourselves in the VBA editor. In this case, we want four piece of, pieces of, of information. We wanna know the opposition name, that's the name of the opposition in this column. We want to know the player name. That's the player name in this column. We want to know the opposition range. So that's the range of data that the opposition data is in. And the same for the players. We want to know the player range. So what's the range of data there? If we can get that information, we can then get Excel to loop through these columns and locate the opposition and locate the player. So this is what we're doing with the custom function we declare ourselves what these parameters are. Then we have some variables. Now we're in normal VBA land, if you like. We've got some variables to make it all work. And then we're gonna create some code here to do our double lookup function. So I've got some annotations to help me, as I said, download the download file and work along with me. So we want VBA to work with the data sheet. So I'm gonna say with, and end with here. That's just gonna save us a bit of syntax as we go. What do we wanna do? We want to loop through all the cells in the opposition column first, and we wanna find where our target opposition name is. We're gonna input that target opposition name right here. Okay, so let's do that first. So let's say our opposition name is gonna come into the formula. We're gonna see that happen. So I'm gonna say uh, for each opposition cell in dot range, I can say dot range because we've already specified that we're looking at the data sheet here. So for each opposition cell in dot range, so what's gonna come next, can you guess? It's another one of our variables up here. We've said opposition range here. And you're gonna see in a second, once we input values into the formula, it's gonna make the magic happen. So for each opposition cell in dot range, opposition range, we've started the loop, we now want to end the loop. So we're gonna say next opposition cell here. And there we've got our loop. Now, if you're not familiar with loops in Excel VBA, we have many beginner videos. I'll put our best ones in the video description below for absolute beginners who wanna to get to know VBA. So this is our first loop. We're looping through the opposition column. What do we want to do next? We also want to loop through the player column, of course. Okay, actually, we don't, have, we don't even need a second loop. I'm coming back to my annotations here, helping me. 
If we loop through this column, then we can just ask, ask Excel to look across and say, is this the target opposition in column C? Is this the, the target player in column D? If we can do that, then we know we've got to the cell that we want to get to. So we're gonna say, if opposition cell, so this is the cell that we're looping through in column C. So if opposition cell equals, um, so it's gonna be opposition name hit. So where's that come from? That's come from our parameters that we're defining uh, at the top of the function. So if opposition cell equals opposite opposition name and what's our other piece of logic? Well, the cell, um, two cells, one cell across, one column across, we need that to equal the player name. So how to articulate that in VBA? So opposition cell dot offset. So offset is gonna allow us to move away by a number of rows or a number of columns. We don't need to move away any rows. We do wanna move away one column here. That's gonna take us from column C to column D. Now, can you guess? If opposition cell to offset one zero equals player name here, so that's another one of our parameters that we declared at the top of the routine, then, so effectively we're saying, if we found the opposition as inputted in this cell, and we're gonna see how we use the formula to bind this all together in a second, and if we found the player name as inputted in this cell, what do we wanna do? Well, first I'm gonna say uh, end if hit, and then if it's just gonna close that uh, if statement, we've got this number of passes variable. I want to save the number of passes, which is two columns across over in column E. I want to save that to the variable. So once again, we want to work away from the cell that we're looping through by a number of columns. So how to do that? Yes, it's a big friend of the channel. Uh, it's the offset method again. So we can say opposition.cell opposition underscore cell dot offset zero to this time, we wanna uh, move to two columns across. And that means the value in this cell is gonna be allocated to a number of passes variable here. Mm. For completeness, let's just indent this and let's see what's gonna happen. So let's talk it through. So uh, what's gonna happen is using our function, in fact, let's go ahead and do it now. So D look up. Excel is going to put this all together. Now, the, the piece that's missing in the jigsaw here is how do we get the values from the spreadsheet into this function? That's where we use our parameters as we would do with VLOOKUP or any other formula. So first, we need the opposition name. Where in the spreadsheet is the opposition name? It's in this cell here. Then we need the player name. The player name is right here. Then we need the range that the opposition data is in. You can scroll down the spreadsheet and confirm this. So this range is C11 to C67. Then we need the range that the player data is in. This is our final parameter. And that is in this cell here, cell C7. So it's gonna look like this. Looks a bit intimidating, doesn't it? But it's just a formula loaded with parameters. How those parameters work in the background is different. It's a custom uh, VBA function. So we've set up the functionality ourselves in the background to make that happen. But is this gonna work for us? So we've got 19. So Staffordshire's Terrier Luna, it is 19 passes. Seems to be working well. So let's try Frodo here. What are we looking for? We're looking for 24 passes. Okay, let's try Frodo against Chihuahua here. And I can see this is the magic of the VBA custom function. This is the magic of the DLOOKUP formula. It's the formula I'd like to see in Excel. Next video to watch is right here. I'll see you there.